Level 2 Fitness Instruction, Anatomy and Physiology. Joints of the Skeleton. By the end of this session, you will be... The Classification of Joints. There are three classifications of joints. The first one is the synovial joint. This is the most common joint in the body. It's freely movable and has the highest risk of injury. It can be found in the shoulders, hips, elbows and the knees. Cartilaginous. This is a semi-movable joint allowing little movement such as the joints found in the vertebrae and the sternum and ribs. Fibrous. This is an immovable joint, allowing no movement, such as the joints found in the skull. The structure of synovial joints. All synovial joints are characterised by the following. The ends of the bone in a synovial joint are covered with hyaline cartilage. This acts as a shock absorber between the two bones. They are also stabilised by ligaments that connect the bone to bone. They are surrounded by a fibrous capsule and the capsule is lined by a synovial membrane that secretes the fluid as lubrication. And finally the muscles cross over the joints in a synovial joint and they are attached to bones via tendons. The types of synovial joints. There are six types of synovial joints. Ball and socket, hinge, pivot, gliding, saddle and ellipsoid. The ball and socket is the most freely movable of all the synovial joints. It can be found in the shoulder and the hip. The hinge joint has a very limited range of motion and is found in the elbow and the knee. The pivot joint, responsible for rotation, can be found in the neck where the atlas and the axis meet. Gliding joints have smooth surfaces that run over each other, such as the carpals and the tarsals. The saddle joint, which can be found in the thumb, also has a big range of motion, very similar to the ball and socket joint. However, it cannot rotate. Ellipsoid is where you have two bones meeting. One has a convex surface one has a concave surface. The range of motion of synovial joints. Synovial joints have a big range of motion and each joint has its own specific range. There is different terminology that we use when describing the joint movement potential that can be found at a particular joint. Flexion. This is where the angle of the joint decreases or the return from extension. Extension. The angle of the joint increases or the return from flexion. Rotation. A bone rotating on its own long axis. It may be internal or external. Abduction, away from the midline of the body. Adduction, towards the midline of the body. Horizontal flexion, towards the midline of the body in the horizontal plane. Horizontal extension, away from the midline of the body in the horizontal plane.
Lateral flexion, bending to the side. Lateral extension, the return from lateral flexion. Circumduction, a circular or cone-shaped movement available at ball and socket joints. Elevation, upward movement of the shoulder girdle. Depression, downward movement of the shoulder girdle. Protraction, forward movement of the shoulder girdle. Retraction, backward movement of the shoulder girdle. Pronation, palm of the hand facing downward. Supination, palm of the hand facing upward. Dorsiflexion, foot moves towards the shin. Plantar flexion, foot moves away from the shin. Inversion, sole of the foot faces the midline. Eversion, sole of the foot faces away from the midline. This section illustrates the joint actions specific to the shoulder movements. Flexion. Extension. Internal rotation. External rotation. Horizontal flexion. Horizontal extension. Elevation. Depression. Protraction. Retraction. Abduction. Adduction. This section illustrates the joint actions specific to spinal movements. Flexion. Extension. Lateral flexion. Rotation. This section illustrates the joint actions specific to elbow movements. Flexion. Extension. Pronation. Supination. This section illustrates the joint actions specific to hip movements. Extension. Flexion. Abduction. Adduction. External rotation. Internal rotation. This section illustrates the joint actions specific to knee movements. Flexion. Extension.
This section illustrates joint actions that are specific to ankle movements. Eversion Inversion Dorsiflexion Plantar flexion Can you now describe the classification of joints, describe the structure of synovial joints, describe the types of synovial joints and their range of motion, describe the joint movement potential and joint actions. For more health and fitness education, visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk.